not happy about that. Right next to the fucking bonfire as well. I'm just gonna rush through this area. I'm gonna die, but I've only got like 2,000 souls to lose. Not that bad. Hey look, it's just up there. There's a fucking bonfire. And he misses! He misses! I should have presumed you would be here. What else is there? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to rush through this. He's poisoned as well. I'm not going to be able to rush through this area. I'm just going to have to fight my way through. Oh, that's annoying. Two deaths in like... What was that? 30 seconds. Give or take. I'm just thinking we'll be able to leave this session on like some quite, uh, some decent low. Which is good. And I will be back later on today to do some more, hopefully to get to the third part of like the third great one we need to fight. Anyways, we've just picked up mannequin boots, the first an mannequin item. Mannequin boots. Boots of the mannequins of Harvest Valley. The peculiar art of puppetry is a vestige of the two lost lands, Alkin and Ven. Which we'll point out, which we'll talk about soon ish. The peculiar art, yep. A queen breathed life into these dolls with the very miasma, miasma that afflicted her poison drenched bosom. That she would have slaves to serve her temperamental will. Mias Mias Miasma? Mia hmm. I think I'm aware. I've not really heard the word Miasma, miasma before. Like, I've heard there's a horror game called Miasmata. But. Uh, about collecting flowers on a Japanese island, so I'm doubting that. <laughs> Any relation or mias to uh, Miasma. I think I consider myself to be quite uh, good at English, quite well spoken, not well spoken, but is it well spoken when you are good at, like, you're very, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Obviously I'm not very well spoken, which can't find words. When you're, you use a lot of vocabulary, like, you're very fancy with your words. I don't know, might be. Anyways, <laughs> fucking fog it. Bonfire. Light the torch. Go over here. Burn the windmill. Does it stay on fire? That'd be cool if it stayed on fire. Like a fiery windmill. No, it looks like it's... Oh, maybe... It, nope. But that stops. That gets rid of a lot, a lot, a lot of poison in the area and the surroundings and stuff. Which is good. What are they trying to do here? It's like... Trap. Oh no. Wait, what? I don't... I don't understand. We can get out of here, and there is an NPC over there that which we will talk to. Oh, what's wrong with you, buddy? You look like someone who drops a small movement. Oh, no, never mind. You look like someone who dies. Wah, wah. Cool. Oh, I'll explore this a little bit later. I'll probably have to kill the mannequin that's chase. Two mannequins. Poison throw and knife and Right, let's go talk to this NPC who is It's my second favourite buying Korean. Be just because of it, it it's he's strange. Let's talk to him. 
Shush. You Aegis. Aegis. I'm on the run. Don't give me away. You're a fugitive too, eh? Yeah. Why else would you be here? It's got death written all over it. You want to climb down here? I can lend you a ladder. But, um... <laughs> how much can you offer me? He's a, he's a scam artist. Why, yep. I'm trying to help you, you know. <laughs> I imagine I my, own, my character just made like a face out of the same thing. rude, really. But I, I, I've, got, I've got a soft heart, so... <laughs> He's such a cop. I, I let you off. This once. Alright. It'll be just a moment. Lada Smith fucking Gilligan. I, d I don't even know. This character is just... He's strange. He just carries the ladder around. I, I don't get it. Ah, uh, go on ahead. I won't offer this deal twice. Because he moves back to Medulla. Oh. <laughs> Psst. Have you heard? Well, apparently, there's this monster lady, right? Spoilers. And the poison, well, does wonders. For her body. Body. So, uh, health and beauty and that sort of stuff. <laughs> and I thought only human women were so petty. Implying that he's someone else, maybe. That creature. She was human once, you know. Yeah. In fact, she was wed to the prince of that nearby castle. But her husband. We'll get on a lot. Uh, he had feelings for another. The princess was desperate and sought eternal beauty. Hoping that it would restore the prince's uh, affection. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> you, you see what I mean? Um, the prince that he is on about, we will go into much later on when we go back to the Belfry Luna. It's a mini law section that I'll talk about. Before long, the princess's ire transformed her into a monster. Now, listen here. When do you think this all happened? Long ago, when this very land was called something else. Now, we say drank it now, but mm -hmm. countless kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot. And this won't be the last? Oh no. Even though he goes on to be like, oh yeah, hint hint, Lordran hint hint, he's actually talking about Alkin and Ven. But then we'll, again, we'll talk about that later, because it's to do with the Belfry of Luna. That damned hag just can't let her old flame go. She's got to get us all burned. Now this dialogue is completely out of nowhere. I'm really not sure what he's on about. I'm thinking he's on about the Lost Sinner. But it seems really weird that he would mention it. I've never really understood that line. God almighty. I'm not going to die in this dump. God, I... Find it. Like... That... That old hack on that... Uh, that hag calling that rope, whatever, hag flame, is going to get us all burned. I'm really not sure, like, what the implication of that is. That line. Like, if he's on about the Lost Sinner, maybe, like, the Emerald Herald? Or, like, it's strange. It really is. Anyways, we'll see Gilligan a little later on. God, I'm not finding. Maybe sooner than we think. Depending on which... Uh, direction for the boss I decide to go. I'll have to look that up actually, but it'll be after this session anyway, so I've got time to plan out my route. Yes, this let's play is in Portland. Doing things in a certain order, going back to things at certain points, that sort of deal. Just because it's Dark Souls you can you can do things like that. Also, 
guess who it is? It's Pete. This is the one that we saw off screen and the one creating tells us not to trust. Someone just died. We went through a lot together. Take this as a token of our friendship. He gives you his entire set and the Ring of Thorns. That is the ring that um, Creighton was on about. Don't be shy. They were meant for you. <laughs> See, that just screams of bullshit, Billy. Well, we meet again. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> well... This, I don't quite have... Like, there, he... He's telling me to go into danger, but he's warning us of the danger. Like, people compare him to Patches, but then with Patches, he's like, Oh yeah, there's treasure there, but then I'm going to strip it off your corpse. Well, once he jumped down, he's like, Hi, I'm going to strip it off your corpse. But this... But Pete is straight up telling us, you know, there's danger, you know, I don't... Be careful. Which, if he really wanted to screw it over that badly, he wouldn't save. He'd just be like, oh yeah, there's treasure there, you know, it's easy. I saved it for you, you know, ha <laughs> friend. So it's like... It's hard to, uh, Tell what his motivations are. If he is... How Creighton describes him, just like, kills for fun. Thinks it's funny to lead when a trap and stuff. Or if it's something different, but... I don't know. Get on to that one, we'll get on to that. 